Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at The Marvelous Mistake. This is a game by Wonderstruck and published by Rising Star Games, and it is, I would describe it as a puzzle heist game, I think they describe it as an action heist game, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's jump into the game I have in progress and we'll talk a little bit about it as well as show off some of the stages. I've been playing it for about 30 minutes off camera and that has gotten me to stage 7 as Mistake. And I also have the second of the three playable thieves who you get. But anyway, you start the game as Mistake here, who's... I think it was her aunt or her mother or grandmother. Her art collection was misappropriated by an evil baron of sorts. So, you know, a person with money who has absconded with her art collection, using it for himself. So Mistake takes it upon herself to steal it back. And you do that by sneaking around art galleries, pocketing the things that actually belong to you so it's technically you know you're technically not just stealing for the hell of it you're stealing for a reason you're taking back what is technically rightfully yours and this guy kind of helped us out by providing gadgets and whatnot that you'll see in use when I, once I get into some of the stages so we can start by replaying a stage I've done already one of the art galleries there's 25 art galleries in total apparently according to the information on Steam and I'm not sure if that's counting across all characters. I assume it will be 25 for each character, but I might be wrong about that. We'll play as the other character as well. Let's do Warford again, see which one this was. See if I can beat my time as well. And that just made the window resize really, really weirdly. Why has it done that? Let's try this again. Uh, can you not do this? Can you... No. Why are you suddenly in a very tiny window? You didn't do this when I wasn't recording. Graphics. Small HUD. No. Full screen, please. Resolution. Yeah, you are... N yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I have no idea why it just decided not to be full screen. <laughs> it must be something to do with recording. It, it didn't happen when I wasn't uh, recording. Right, let's get back into this, shall we? So yeah, we just start and there's guards patrolling. We get to see their view cones and we have a few means by which to distract them. We can actually hold the button on ourselves to whistle to get their attention, which I may do in a second. You can hide behind... Oh, let's not go that way while he's looking that way. But let's do that now. We'll hold on myself. I whistled. That got his attention, so he's going to walk around here. I'm just going to come around here. I can hold the button to run, but that creates noise. Let's go over here. Also, the music just got really loud. Let me just try and turn the music down a little bit as well. On the fly editing! Audio, odd, or is this audio? Oh yeah, sound low, music low. Sound is fine, let's just do music low. That's probably now too low, but I prefer it being too low to being, oh, hide here, then get round here. Yeah, so this is the stage before we actually got any of our gadgets, but when I get into doing stages I've not done before, you'll get to see gadgets like a noise maker, which essentially does the same thing as you whistling, except you don't need to be nearby to do it. And then also a teleporter, which, you know, as the name might suggest, teleports you to the location that you throw so you can get past areas where you otherwise wouldn't be able to. So is that all the art? That can't be all the art. We've got one there, and then we've got the optional masterpiece. Masterpieces are always kind of technically guarded by wealthy dowagers who will go and alert the guards when you take it, because they're dicks. So we really do need this guard to leave. Let's hide behind here. What are you doing over there? Oh, there's actually one more bit I need to steal over there as well to finish the stage. Well, it's no good that guard being over there, so let's try and get him out of there. We'll come over here and we shall whistle there. Hopefully get around here before he'll see me and then go around the long way. We can run because he will be out of range of the sound. There he goes. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. We can also talk to the, the wealthy lady, although she almost always just insults you. Oh, he's coming back. Let's just grab it and run. So we grabbed it, she's going to go tell the guard, but it doesn't matter because we can escape. And usually each heist is broken into a few floors, so I think this is three floors from memory. Ah, we do get our first gadget. So this is the noisemaker I was talking about. It won't tell us the tutorial because I've already used it before, but we can get rid of this guard by chucking the noisemaker up there. And as you can see, it distracts him, so hopefully we can just walk past. Yes, we can. Grab as much as we can before he comes back. So because the, the lady there always alerts when you take the masterpiece, that's generally what you want to grab last because the guards go on high alert and they'll start running around looking for you. If they grab you, it's game over. You have to retry. Although I think sometimes they can, if they get close but don't actually grab you, you lose your hat instead. So it's almost like you can take one hit, as it were, even though you're technically not taking damage. So let's get around here and distract him. Alrighty. 
let us grab these. And now we just need to get the masterpiece. As I said, the masterpiece is optional. You do not require it. But it's the principal thing. I will take it. Also, that actually acts as the distraction. I need to get past the guard and get out. Is this only a two-floor heist? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Right. All the thieves you play as, all three of them, play slightly differently. So now I'll do a stage as the other one. The I can't remember his name. It's the something fox. Yeah, so he fills in the blue picture. So I've only done one stage as him so far. But let's do Kensington as him. So he can't run because he has a, a duff leg. He also has a, a bouncing distraction tool. Oh, all his heists are set at night also. There's usually more security at night as well. Cameras are going to be very tricky to avoid when I can't run. How am I going to do this? Get behind here probably. Cameras see you instantly and alert guards. I'm crouching behind the scenery though, so I believe you can corner... Yeah, kind of come here now. Because he can't run, I'm going to wait for another pass of the camera here. And then I'll grab that painting that's next to it. Luckily, there's also fewer guards. There's more high-tech security at night, but there's fewer guards, so it's kind of like, you know, a balance. And it does offer a different experience. It also has different music, like smooth jazz. As far as I'm aware, he can still whistle as well, but I haven't... Oh, there's a gate there. Ha ha ha, interesting. So I need to get around behind you, quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, he kind of heard me a little bit, but that's all right. Also, if I do use my throwing ball thing, I have to collect it before I'll leave the stage because he won't leave it behind. He cherishes it too much. That was very close. So I need to go back the way I came, unfortunately. So we'll see which way this guard's going and then we will go round. So as I mentioned at the start, there will be a... Well, I didn't mention there was a link, but I mentioned the game is on Steam. There will be a link to the Steam store page in the description box below. And the game, well, at present of me recording this, is actually on the sale. However, by the time you hear this, unfortunately, it will not be. So it'll be back to full price, which is £14.99. As I've been saying in a few recent Let's Look Ats where games have been priced at that point, I feel like it might be a smidge too high, assuming the regional equivalent for, say, America and whatnot is, you know, the proper conversion rate. It seems a little high to me. I would have thought that about £10 for this level of game would be where I would consider it a good purchase. At $14.99, I would say it's a considered purchase. Also, I was very stupid putting myself in this position. But luckily, he indulged me and moved the wrong way. So I just need to get round here, round here, round here. Oh, this camera is going to be nightmarish to get past. I need to get... Oh, actually, it's got a blind spot. I forgot, so that's where I need to be. Don't mind me, old camera, old buddy, old pal. I'm just going to sneak along here and... Grab this then, hide behind here. I think I should be safe. I totally am. Thankfully, cameras don't actually have a long range. And that could be the end of that stage. It is. There we go. It might say his name now, because I honestly can't remember what it is. What just happened? So I got two of the challenges. I, I did the stage, and I did it without being detected. Good. So yeah, I'm enjoying myself with the marvellous mistake so far. Oh, also, well, let's play this for a brand new stage. Oh, we can speak. I swore to myself I'd get out of the stealing rackets, so why are you helping me? You need help. You're talented, but I've got the experience. I don't need advice from a criminal. Really, so what are you? A writer of wrongs, a bringer of justice. You're Batman, I get it. Yeah, I'm Batman. A game where you get to play as Batman and steal things. Is that what you're after? So yeah, let's do a stage that I've not done before. So I just did King's Road. Let's do St. Martin's. Locations around London, in case you aren't aware. But as I was saying, yes, I am enjoying this so far. It's, oh wow, look at all the cameras here. It's challenging. It's, it's getting more difficult as you go along, as to be expected. I'm worried there might not be enough here to warrant the price. If it is 25 stages for each thieve, then, you know, that's fair. That's fair. Ah, we give a teleport for this stage. Attention, extra security me measures will now be put in place. Back to work. So that's the guy who's a bit cross that we're stealing from him. So let me just have a look around this stage. We've got camera, camera. Two guards, I believe it was. Okay, uh, yeah, guard there. And I think there's another one up there, but I can't see him from my particular spot right now. We can get past this one without wasting the teleporter by using its blind spot. So that's easy enough. We need to get into this room, unfortunately. Oh, there's actually four things in this room. As far as I'm aware, you can't hop these gaps, which is unfortunate. 
You can crouch up again. Oh, maybe you can throw through them though. That'll be another reason for them being there. So yeah, we're in this camera's blind spot. That's totally okay. So if I was to whistle... I've used the teleporter to get rid of a, or get away from a guard that was literally about to touch me. There's an achievement for it, for the record. I felt very chuffed my, my, with myself with um, my timing when that happened. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Incidentally, if a guard view cone sees you, it fills up to a question mark. If you're still visible, it fills up to an alert. If it's just a question mark, they will investigate your the location they thought they saw something. Let's not get the masterpiece until we're done here. That was very close again. I'm not sure where he's going to wander now. Guards patterns, the game says, are randomised, so you can't just wait and watch for a gap. You have to create the gaps. Yeah, I'm glad I only got the one there. Don't mind me, uh, snooty so-and-so. I'm just going to take that and go. So we get the teleporter again. We get two of them, by the way. No, wait, no, 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 no. We only get one on this stage. Alrighty. Well, this is an easy start. Let's just... You went round the way I didn't expect you to go round there. Ah, so he kind of saw me. He's going to go investigate that. That kind of works out to my advantage, actually. Ah, there's more than one wealthy person visiting this gallery. Let's go up there. The guards turn in a really weird, kind of cartoonish way that I quite like. Oh, I need more things in here. Hmm. Oh, no, no, not going to make it on that pass, that's for sure. Also, the phone is ringing. Unfortunately, it'll just have to ring. I'm busy. And I do have two teleporters, as it turns out. That was very, very risky. So is this. But I can use the teleporter to get away. If need be, I can just chuck it through there and it'll teleport me to it. Now, granted, that would still be in the vision cone of another guard, but... Where are you going, guard? Where are you going? Oh, alright, you're kind of hanging around here, are you? Yeah, you are. Let's get around here. I don't think they can see you when you're crouching behind stuff. The crouching is automatic when you're kind of against cover that you can crouch behind. I see how we have to do this. It's like, oh no! I'll go tell the guard! Yeah, you go do that. I'm going to teleport all the way over there and be utterly safe. And we're done! So yeah, that went very well. We didn't do it fast enough. What was the par time? Wow, 1 minute 50. So I was twice, or over twice as slow. Does that make sense? Over twice as slow? I took twice as long to do the stage as the par time. Over that, in fact. But we did get the masterpiece, so that's the next challenge and complete the stage as well. So that should unlock the next one. Oh, and we get these between them. Blackstock sets dogs on cats. Oh, so there's going to be dogs on stages now. Oh, dear. I'm quite curious how those are going to act, so... I was going to play another stage as the other thief, but I want to see how the dogs act. So let's go to Beak Street. And this will probably be the last stage that I show in the video. I know it might be a bit of a short one, but I don't like spoiling how to do stages when it's a puzzle-ish puzzle, puzzle -ish game. So do we see any dogs on the little overview here? No, maybe they only appear at night. Oh wait, no, there they are. Dogs follow your scent and will alert nearby guards. If they catch you, run away to shake them off. So is he going to see me straight away? Is this his scent range? Let's test this. Yep, yeah, he's getting the scent. Alright, he follows the scent, but he won't actually be alerted unless I get into the view cone. Oh, he kind of got a little bit of a scent there. Let's just keep running. I don't think he's reacting to sound, though, which is interesting. Oh, look, he's following my footsteps, though. I want that masterpiece. I probably shouldn't have done this until I'd gotten the rest of this stuff from the stage already, but this should be fine. Hey! Blocking me at the door there. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, that was close. Get to the blind spot. Oh no! Well, I'm going to get caught, unfortunately. <laughs> he can't actually get... Oh, he can! I was, if I was just a slight bit faster, the blind spot wouldn't have seen me. So we can do this again. Yeah, I already know this, thank you. Hey, I didn't go into crouching that time, that's weird. Ah, running does set the dog off. Yeah, so let's go do this bit first before I grab the masterpiece, because that's it, everybody on edge. 
Right, so the view cone is there, and if I go round the left, the dog won't actually scent me. Does this... yeah, it does have a blind spot. I thought it did. I was just ever so slightly in it last time. So there's two more bits. That bit there. Oh, don't you mind me, Fido. Just you chill out. Uh oh. <laughs> Shut up. I need a tranquilizer dart. Although the guard is actually out of range, so he can't hear the dog making a... Yeah, I want the hat. Pick it up. Oh, I won't let me pick it up while the dog's there, unfortunately. So that's interesting. The dog was out of range of the guard, so the guard didn't care. I'm not sure... I think the only relevance of losing your hat, by the way, is that you can't leave the stage without it. Right, so we can do this the same way we did last time, because we can leave, so... Get his attention, although we're going to run past the dog, unfortunately. And I don't have any teleporters. Oh no, wait, the dog's resetting. Fantastic. Where is the exit? It's by the camera, though. Don't get me stuck on the door this time, you irritating woman. Oh, wait, this is bad. Oh, I didn't grab it, I just broke the glass. Damn. It's because I ran away too soon. But if I hadn't, I would have been caught, so... Let's try that one more time with feeling. It would help if the doors didn't take an age to open. Oh, he kind of heard me. Don't mind me, bud. Don't mind me. Oops, don't run because otherwise the door will lock again like last time. Uh, get through the door, mistake. Get through the door, mistake. She isn't walking through the door. Oh dear, I think we've discovered a bug. Come on, I would have done the stage! Hang on, walk away until the door's closed again. Let's try this again. Alright, that sorted it, thankfully. Oh, the dog's going to see me! Yep, the dog's going to see me. Although, again, thankfully, it's uh, out of range of the guard, so it doesn't really care. And I can't leave without my hat, as, it, as expected. Alright, that was harder than it needed to be, but I did it, and that's only the first floor, though. Dogs and cameras. Come on, get my scent. Here, can I whistle to the dog? Oh, I can! Just like in real life, dogs res uh, react to whistles. Oh, I'm amazed I didn't get seen there, because I accidentally clicked too many times. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Stay out of his view code. Just... Walk around it every direction except where he is. Oh, this is a nightmare room. Don't mind me, old lady. I just need to... Yeah, you didn't see nothing, right? I know where you live. Oh, so I'm just... oh it's like, man! <laughs> I need that. Then the masterpiece, and then I can leave. Oh. God damn, the dog is hounding me, if you pardon the pun. Is he still seeing me? He is still seeing me, isn't he? Oh dear. Uh oh, uh oh. Unfortunately, he's moving too fast. Yeah, these dogs are irritating. Not like real dogs are great. Hey, Fido, over there. Right, we, can, we know we can go around this, so that's fine. And the exit's over there. Keep in mind, I don't need to get the masterpiece, that's optional. Furthest point away from the guard, that's why I came up here this time. As long as he doesn't hear me. Also, it gives the dog ages to catch up to me. Why would you come this way? What makes this stage harder, actually, is because it's not giving me any gadgets. No noisemakers or uh, teleporters. I think the dog gave up. He did. So I need this. And that's it, technically. I want the masterpiece as well, ideally, but... Come on, sod off over that end of the room again. Oh, but now the dog's near the thing I need. Hmm. Gotta wait for the right moment here. Which is not right now, that's for damn sure. It's as if he knows. He's just, he's staying in the exact place I don't need him to be. 
Right, I could just leave, but I kind of want the masterpiece. Of course he's walking near the masterpiece now that I need it. Of course he is. The dog has my scent. It's fine, I can deal with this. Oh! No, I can't. He got a sight of me. And so's the bloody dog. I should have just left. I should have just left. Oh, I shouldn't have let myself get caught or seen again. Just do it. Just get the bloody thing and run. Hey! I said get the bloody thing and run. Thank you. Screw you, dog! Screw you! Screw you all the way to the bank. I'm done. So, this has been a let's look at of the marvellous Miss Take available now on Steam. There will be a link in the description box below. <laughs> it's a dog's life for Black's dog. What a shame. £14.99 if you are at all interested. Please like the video, if you did indeed like the video, or if you just want to show your support to the developer and or me. There will be more gaming stuff to come. My name has been Flick, and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta, for now.